them in Christianity because you may have brought her in a Christian family. Is that correct? Okay. So did you study about Christianity? Yeah. Okay. So when you that's fine. When you study in school, you know that Christians have a scripture that has been passed on called the New Testament, right? The Bible, New Testament part of the Bible. In there, it is the life described about the Which was about, supposed to take away from the Old Testament and the behaviour of what was going on. The same as Muhammad when he came along to correct the behaviour. You're absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. Every prophet, every prophet and the messenger, they came to change people's behaviour to turn into what is acceptable good behaviour. Which is? You guys, you think the New Testament has been simulated and made. No, what we believe is this. Let me tell you what we believe. We believe, we believe that the scripture, the revelation was given to Jesus the prophet. What? Right? Peace be upon him. He, he conveyed the message about the worship of one God to his people, who was the children of Israel, a group of children of Israel, not all of them, some of them, who were lost. And he invited them back to God. But what happened was, people were writing about him later on, and they wrote many, many books. And the books was written even in the third, fourth centuries. Surprising maybe to you to hear that there are not only four Gospels that were ever written. There are many more Gospels. I know about 43 Gospels. If I'm not mistaken by the number now, 40, over 40 Gospels. Gospel of the Ebionites, Gospel of the Nazarenes, Gospel of the Egyptians, Gospel of St. Thomas. Many Gospels which has not made itself into the New Testament. But people wrote about this Gospel. What are they? What Jesus did, what he said, how he acted, what he preached and so on. So when we examine the New Testament believed by the Christians, with the four Gospels, what do we find? We find Jesus Christ is saying, saying things here and there. So we have to examine this because a lot of people have written about them. Are they writing this in truth without any exaggerations, without any you know things that are going to add in name to make it fantastical? For example, one of the Gospels, called Gospel of Matthew, I want to share this because it's very important to know why we have to approach it this way. Before that, let me give an example. Suppose now a dinosaur, Trinosaurus Rex, do you know dinosaurs? Came up from the ground there, from that park, from the ground, and roaring it just, you know, walked around this, and in, in this process, many of the people got stampeded and, and you know, under his feet, died. And guess what? Even though with all these cameras now, no one reported this event. Not a single person, you and me, went to our homes because we survived that incident and told our friends in our Facebook, in our Twitter, whatever it might be, social media that you use. None of us reported this event. Only, only one person, this gentleman, for example. Now, would you, would you consider, would you consider that story believable? You would say there's something fishy going around. Such an event of this magnitude, a dinosaur going around in 21st century, you will say everyone's going to report it. Most, many people. Now, compare this. Now, compare this to the new, one of the New Testament writings. It describes how, during the so-called alleged crucifixion of Jesus, the graves were opened up of many saints and dead saints came over the ground and they were this is in the gospel of matthew and they appeared to many people multitudes now such an event of this magnitude if you were there someone saints right it could be someone's brother someone's uncle someone's dad someone's grandfather yeah, but that's a parable though yeah that's a parable. so 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 jesus said so give it in parables listen what i'm saying is that description, that historical or so-called event is only narrated by one writer called Matthew. Don't even know his second name. None of the other people, none of the other gospel writers who are believed to be, you know, authentically transmitting the gospel, the other three, none of the Jewish authors, historians, all the Romans authors, historians, no people narrated this. Only one individual. You would say, as you said already, it's very unlikely to be true because such an event has been rated. So now if you question this writing in the New Testament, 
if an event like this is narrated by this individual, how much is he actually inventing? Because it looks like a some kind of concoction to make something. Well, that could be the same. You're so wrong. Yeah, but is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Do you want to take two to our side? Very wrong. Now I'm going to get you. Mind me getting involved. The reason why he wants to interrupt this discussion. No, no, it's fine. No, 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 no. Let's carry on. Do you mind me getting involved? Exactly. Right. Okay. So you mind? Okay. So, so who? No, don't worry. I'm going to help you out. It's not Christian. It worked both ways. So as you realize. We have a text called the New Testament, and within this we have writings. An author is writing something which you think is fiction, because it doesn't sound to be historical, because if it was true, you would expect a lot of people narrating this mag magnificent, you know, you know, huge event of this magnitude. What else do we know about him? For example, at the very beginning, this gentleman, this writer, describes, describes the genealogy of Jesus Christ, and he gives the list, and I, I'll tell you why this is very important, because we can now assess the character of this individual and to see whether his writing is worthy to be believed in or He says, these are the generations from Abraham to David, from David to the exiles of Babylon, and, and then to Jesus. Three lots of 14 generations. He says, these are all the generations, 14, 14, and 14. Guess what? We know this is totally incorrect. How do we know this? Because he is describing people of the Old Testament. And when we go to the Old Testament, like in the books of Chronicles, chapter 3, verse 10 onwards and so on, we find the same individuals there narrated, father to son to grandson and so on. And we discover he's omitting certain people. Now, you might think he's omitted to make a fantastic number, to make a, a 14 as a you know, magical number. But guess what? The people he omits, like he omits a person called Jehoiakim, an individual called Jehoiakim. What's so special about him? Actually, he's a key figure because this author, Matthew, he makes Jesus Christ the descendant of David, right? He wants Dave, uh, Jesus to be sitting on the throne of David. So he gives the line of David through his progeny. Within this line, Jehoiakim is one individual, God cursed, and God said, you and your descendants are all cursed, you shall have none to sit on the throne of David. So if Jehoiakim was there within this line, within this genealogy, then you cannot claim to sit on the throne of David. Can you so he him? takes that How name away. So he takes that name away. Do you follow? He takes that name away so that he's trying to fit Jesus on this line. But we know the dishonesty. That he is twisting history. He is changing history for his theological motive. So I've given you two examples. I can carry on and on. Two examples to show that this writings cannot be believed on. You cannot believe. Because how can we trust the author when their character so is in question? You're saying that the, the generations from the Old Testament were rewritten again in the New Testament. That's a claim. Like trying to say that it only happened in the New Testament and never happened in the Old Testament. He changed the genealogy no, to no, fit no, his no. theories. No, no, no. And, in a minute. and because he changed what is already there, he can't change the historical writings. The writings in Chronicles are still available. And when we check the writings, we can see which name he has removed. And we know the name he has removed is very significant. Because if that name was there, in Matthew's genealogy, Jesus can not be the son of David. Now, That's a period of 42 years or not? No. 14, 14, 14. No, no from Jesus to three David, sets of 14. from David to Adam, is 6,000 years. Yeah, 6, Within, according to the Bible, can you name no, he know every he's single person he know what he's from, from he's Jesus, Jesus to Adam? Can you name Jesus to Adam? Get me a Bible, I'll show you the name of the You could never name Could someone get me a physical Bible? How many years in each generation? 6,000 years in each From this kingdom. 6,000 years. You can't name father and son. Father and son. So we're talking about what? When we say this generation is not like more than 100 years, is it? Right? So 40 years. Can I, can I I'll show you. There you go. Here's the Bible. So what's your Very interesting. Matthew it says, Jesus begat, 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 all the way to Adam. Here it is. He says, he begat, begat, all the way to Adam. Yes? 
No, you're mistaken. I'll right, tell you. all the way to Adam. Um, since got, you don't know what you're talking about, right? let me continue. All the way to Adam. And Sorry. after that, I want to ask him, how did Islam begin? That's what I want to ask him. Let him finish this topic. This is a record. This is the Holy Bible, right? Just jumping from one to Book of Matthew. This is the first book of the New Testament. The record of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac is the father of Jacob. So you now you're talking about the father and son business, right? All the way goes on and it talks about here. Thus there were 14 generations in all from Abraham to David. So from Abraham to David, there were not 15 generations. Matthew says 14. And from 14 from David to the exalted Babylon and 14 from the exalted the Christ. Three lists of 14. Matthew makes it no more than 14 in all. But we know this is false historically because when we go in the genealogies here in the Old Testament, in 1 Chronicles, if you have time, maybe you can bring up 1 Chronicles 3.16 and we'll read side by side. And we will discover the names that he has. He has changed them. The names are here, all the names. He changes the name. Not just one, many. So, this is example number two. The example number three is even very nearby. He invents a prophecy. He says, and Jesus Christ, who has prophesied in the past, that he shall be called a Nazarene. You can read the whole test Old Testament from cover to cover, from beginning to end. You will never find this prophecy in the Old Testament that he was prophesied by the prophets that the Messiah will no, be no, called no. a Nazarene. No, no, no. It doesn't exist. So what Matthew is doing, he's inventing, he's fabricating, he's distorting, he's co concocting. So when you read today, in 2000 years afterwards, which is going to supposedly guide you to the truth, and you read realize this author is doing all of these things you will say this doesn't seem to be an author who is a man of integrity I cannot trust his writings I cannot trust his writings you can examine all the books likewise right? yeah? so this is what we're saying is what we believe as Muslims this book narrates about stories of the prophets and it adds and takes away and distorts and it you know does all these embellishments there are some truth but they're also falsehood and the quran says the quran came as a muhayminat as a criterion to witness and testify the truth and falsify the falsehood the quran came as a guardian and say look all people of the scripture Come, let us reason together, as I said earlier. Let us come to a common ground that we worship none but God. And we do not take partners besides God, along with Him. And we do not say, God is Jesus. Or, in fact, the Quran says, certainly they disbelieve who say, God is a trinity. Desist, it is better for you, for your God is one. <laughs> and it talks about how Jesus, in fact, you'd be surprised to know in the Quran, there's a chapter called Mary by the name of the mother of Jesus in the Quran and it describes how Jesus is born when Mary was pregnant and she brought the baby to the people how do you think he, she defended herself do you, can you imagine do you know what she said in the Quran she just pointed to the baby and, and the people said how can we speak to someone who is in the cradle? How can we speak to a baby? The baby Jesus spoke. And he says, I am a slave of God. God made me a prophet and blessed me and made me not so unrighteous to my mother and so on. Because the baby Jesus spoke, they knew that Mary was a chaste woman. In the Quran, in But the Quranic story, but the Quranic story, it gives you the, but the Quran gives you the story that happened in reality. That's how Jesus, as a baby, and his mother was removed from these accusations of improper conduct being unchaste if that miracle didn't happen how do you think Mary would have been removed from this accusation by just saying you know God gave me a child who would have believed like this like that <laughs>
If you now has come he stated to stated that Jesus was 12 years of age when he said that he was a slave or messenger to We God. have to be very wary of what we read now, as you realise. Whatever we read in the Bible, we have to think twice. I don't know what chapter it is, but it is. Yeah. 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 So we have to think twice what we read. It's the same in the, in the, in the, in the Quran. Ask him how it started. In the Quran. In a, we have, I need a Quran, please. Yes, please get in the Quran, God says, look, this is a book in which there's guidance for sure, no, it didn't without a doubt. Can you show me how it Guidance for those who are God-fearing righteous. This is exactly what we expect from a book. Anyone have Quran? So when the Quran describes to you, no it cross. speaks to you, to your heart and your mind. And it does speak to the Can we have, yeah. can we have, ask him at the beginnings of the Quran? Look, let's ask the beginning. How did, how did it start? He'll get to it. Let him finish one topic. This book, this is just preaching, isn't it? No, this book has no doubt in it. He's talking to a guidance for the God fear. There's no proof it came from Allah. <laughs> no proof. Whatsoever. Now let's discuss this. No proof in God. No, he doesn't believe in Christianity. No proof. It's interesting. He's an atheist. He's an atheist. He wants to go. There's no proof. We have no proof. He's not going to come from Allah. He believes in things he doesn't believe in any of the scriptures so, in so in that's why no, this discussion I believe in the truth. is not like I believe in the meaningful you only yeah? believe in screenshots yes the screenshot that he bunks you every single week yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we have spoken every week. So, and he knows that very well so what I would like oh, you to you know tab. because you, you said logic the moment you said logic I knew you are a person who thinks and reasons and who wants to not just believe because you are born into a family but you would understand and try to weigh the evidence to you. So when we examine, for example, the life of the Prophet for 40 years in his life, you know what people told, what they said about this man, Muhammad, peace be upon him? We don't know. For it's 40 his years. It's his saying. We don't know. It's not an example. For 40 his years say. before it's he received say. any so revelation. He didn't receive any revelation. They awesome. called him the a sad amin. It did no revelation. The one. No, I'm trying to buy your book. It's according to you. He was no, no, revelation. No, no revelation. Established. No revelation. In his community, there's no revelation. a truthful person and a trustworthy person. No revelation. They did not ever even hear any lies from him. This Gabriel here is only mistrust from him. So this was a man for 40 years like this, right? So when he received revelation, yes, he didn't realize that. He's saying it's failing. Yeah, of course. I was going to be a prophet. I knew it all along. He was like trembling. What happened to him? He was not when he was trembling like this, right? He came to his life. He says, "Rock me up, cover me up, cover me up." He can't fly no more. What has happened to him? Anyway, anyway, let's get back into this. You know what has happened? He didn't know what was happening to him. So it's not like an imposter saying, oh yeah, yeah, this God has made me a prophet. This is a story that begins this is, once this upon a time. So they lived their man. He, what is wrong with you, man? He, he, I'm, I'm, so I'm, 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 this is, so this is, is just things pure. Things We're trying to so listen to like your time. time. You're preaching. Yeah. 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 I don't mean to mess up your camera time, yeah. but this is your preaching. So when he went to his people, like at the time there was a custom. If there was an urgent emergency of some kind, they will go in top of the mountain and give a call like Ya Sabaha for example says who people will leave and abandon everything and they'll run to this place like and, and you was there just was like you? even few hundred years ago in this country and you and was others, there. people used to ring ding 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 the bell like and people will leave everything and join them because that's how the whole community will come to help so he did this Ya Sabaha people came running and he says look what if I tell you that there is an army waiting behind the mountains to attack you. Would you believe me? You know what the people said? He says, we would believe you because we have never heard any lies from you. The people testify about him. And they says, look, I'm asking you, I'm telling you, that worship God alone. And there is only one God worthy of worship. You should worship none else. Abundance and, which, yeah, and which shun God? and reject well, which the God? false gods. Yeah, but the which gods. God? Which false God? gods. Yeah, but which yeah. one? Allah. So this we've was got Yahweh, this was we've got yeah. Rima. Yeah. We've got so many when gods. Which God are we life, worshiping? Yeah. You believe in nothing, which one? what's the point? Uh, which one are we worshiping? He was invited. Yes, which one? Yeah, but which is the one true God? Worship one God. Not to 
to worship deities that they made with their own hands, they carved with their own hands. Worship yourself. Honor and love yourself. Worship the moon, the stars, the stars, the stars. Because that's only proof you have. This is invisible. God you're talking about. And that's what you're saying. Same as we find in our earth. We have this material. But your source starts with the source. They have that source. They have that source. Right. Now my source starts with the source. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Right.
is the last and final of all the prophets. He says. Messages. That's all he says. That's the difference. That's all he says. His message is no different from the, all he of the prophet's what message. In God is one and should worship him. What religion was there in the time of the Old Okay, let, <laughs> let's establish that. When you talk about Abrahamic, no, no, we can no, establish no, that. No, no. Shall I ask what was the religion of Abraham? Shall I ask you the quick question to ask him? What was Abraham? No, hold on a second, madam, madam, listen to me. Ask him, Abraham. what was Prophet Muhammad's first name? Ask him what it was. What was his first name? What was Muhammad's first name? I told you. He has many Amma. names. But, but what was one of the names? Why are you he's not on Islam side. He's not on Islam side. Okay. Okay. And Abdullah means, Abdullah means, ask what Abdullah means. That's how Arab Servant named them. Servant or slave of Allah. Right. And so Allah is not a new. So hold on a second. Do you get this concept of when Jesus Christ was born and he said this in the crazy because we know that the, the, the description the description I gave you about the story of the birth of Christ no, 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 you're missing, you're missing the birth point. of Christ Allah comes at the time from, of Muhammad listen comes from the one God, God worship was you not listen, around when Muhammad was born hey. a when Muhammad was born who knows. they had many gods and ahead of that God was Allah so <laughs> at the time that Muhammad was born he was named after a pagan god. There was no one god correct, when Muhammad was the born. Gentleman here, Am I correct? Allah or not? was never a pagan god. In fact, the Quran tells you what I was a pagan very god. daily. Who do you think is the creator of all of this? Yes, they said Allah. Allah. Allah at the time. Surah 23. So Allah the, the is god, a name. There was of no god. one god system at the birth Even of Muhammad. You don't know Arabic Arabic Yes or no? Very yes or no? Yes or no? Arabic speaking yes Google. 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 Was there one god because at the birth of Muhammad? That is the name in Arabic. No. Allah. So when you ask a Muhammad Christian was the one who that is came up with Arab, one God concept. who is Allah, who is Allah's God? Stop making a story. You say this is Abraham. So you ask a very, very important question, question about, the religion. about the Abrahamic religion. About it. So let's talk about the founder of Abrahamic religion, religion. No. Prophet Abraham himself. And there's no one God at the time. What was the name of the religion? The prophets came with one God. No, that is it. Okay. Yes. That's why that name was. The Bible doesn't say. So the Bible is not going to help us because the Bible does not tell us the name of the religion of Abraham. But it does describe what he believed about God. What was his relationship with his God? It describes that Abraham, Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, believed in one and only God. And he sincerely and willingly surrendered his will to the will of this one true God and worshipped him without ascribing a partner to this. So, if Abraham believes in one and only God and worships this one and only God, in Arabic we say this is known as a person who does that, they are called a Muslim. And their religion is Islam. Do we know from the actions from here of Abraham that he was a Muslim, he was calling to Islam. You got a funny face. That is why the Quran says, oh people, why do you argue about Abraham when Judaism, Christianity, all of this came after him? It was after him. Judaism came with the name of Judah. Christianity came with the name of the Christ. But Abraham was one before. He was neither a Jew or a Christian, the Quran says. That he was not a Jew or a Christian, but a Muslim Hanifan, a fully directing himself to the worship of one God. Someone actually wants to look at your iPad. You'd be surprised to hear. I wanted to go cinema and watch a funny film today, but at least I'll settle with your iPad. Did you know that we believe that Christ is a Messiah? On, the Quran establishes that. In fact, the Quran, when it talks about this, it says, Al Masih Isa. The Quran, the Quran talks about, about the Messiah. Did Jesus die on the cross? Is Jesus. He died on the cross, yes. according to the Bible. Why do you say that? So, so why do you say that? We find the Quran agrees that the Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Now, the question is, what is the Messiah? Rather than saying who? Because we know who it's Jesus. Died on the cross. But what is it? What is being a Messiah? You mentioned 25 times. So when we go, we find died on the, cross. the Messiah is a concept it's that is so is the Quran. found a Messiah. with so the, is the Jewish concept. people. So is the, the Jewish concept. people were expecting a Messiah to come. To them, a Messiah <laughs> is going to be a political deliverer. After him, you can a human being so. like <laughs> Moses <laughs> who would come and deliver the people from the oppression and the bondage of the systems 
and establish peace on earth. This Messiah is not God. They never no. believed that he was God. No, no. The Jewish people never believe the Messiah is God. They believe the Messiah will be sent by God. Why do you refer to the Jewish No, no, please. Look, before, do you agree? Do you agree? Before the Christians came, they didn't have the Messiah concept. Messiah concept was for the Jewish people. So the Jewish people are in a position to tell us what they understood to be what the Messiah is. So to them, Messiah is God sent. God sent. So the God sends the Messiah, a human being. So we believe Jesus was that human being. Okay. I'm listening to the words. So listening to the words. This is the word God. I can't hear too much. Can you tell him to move away a little bit? I can't hear you. Did he say it or did he I'm not asking you to be loud. Just ask him to be. No, 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 you can hear me. Did he say it or did he I am not from the God sent the Messiah. Yeah, I'm not from the nation. Okay, how do you believe it? Okay, I'll tell you how he said it. God, when Mary didn't have a child, God said to Mary, be rich. And Mary was not the That's how God created Mary. How did God create Adam? Jesus was not created. No, he always existed. God created Adam from the dust. Adam was still lifeless. So God breathed into Adam. Breathed into Adam and was yet said, be. Jesus was not created. Adam was. He always now, existed. This is the creation says before Abraham and the Quran. The Quran, the Quran described the similitude, the example of Jesus is like Adam. When God created Adam, Jesus is the one that God said, Be, and he was. This is how Jesus was created. Adam was created out of mud. Jesus, Jesus always existed. So he's a person of God. So when Jesus came, what did he tell people? Worship me? Do you find a single statement in the Bible where Jesus said, I am God and worship me? Jesus was worshipped. Ask him. Never stop. Ask him. 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 It's important to ask the gentleman who is in Can we show you? Just ask him. Show us a statement in black and white where Jesus says, I am God and worship me. He didn't say that in the Bible. He doesn't say that. No, no, no. He was worshipped, but he never stopped. He doesn't say, I am God, worship me. Now, do you realize they admit that Jesus made no such claim. No, 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 no. Do you know realize Jesus was worshipped, but he never stopped? Yeah, but you don't believe Jesus was worshipped. And see if Jesus was worshipped. So what's your point? As you realize, Jesus doesn't believe Jesus is God. Yeah, exactly. So as you realize, as you realize, Jesus was not God. At one point, tell that to him. Jesus okay, said he wasn't God. At yeah, one hey, point, him Jesus was sent to the Gentiles. At one the, the, point, I already dealt with no, the you know Gentiles. What was no, 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 he's a Christian. He's a Christian now. Sitting, Gentiles. He's a Christian atheist. He was atheist Christian. Christian. With his disciples, right? And then you bring him in. They were having discussions about many things, maybe. Matthew, Matthew 14 said, A Canaanite woman, a woman from Canaan, a land of Canaan, came with her daughter. Not a Gentile. He is Israelite, right? The daughter is not well. And she started, I'm paraphrasing the story. It's a well known story. And she is saying to these Christ, Master, you know, help me. No, no, no. Matthew 28, verse 9, it says, As they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice. So this is Jesus talking. So they came, held them by the feet, and worshipped him. And then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and where they worship his wife. They there will see me. Yes, they worship him. They worship him. Why do you like him? I asked you the Bible to tell them or ask them. Jesus was worshipped. Let's finish. 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 Let's finish.
Jesus that Jesus that. claims and says, what? I am God and no I worship one said, me. No one believes yeah, you. Do you believe God? Please, yes, he's not God, is he? Do you believe God? Another one, bro. No, another one. Another one. Matthew is God. A specific question. Why are you making that point? For example, another one. Why are you making that point? I'm making that point. I'm making that point. You're wasting daylight time. All the videos here, don't edit none of this. You're wasting daylight time. Matthew 2, no one believes God. Matthew 2, 11. So as you realise, they know not so can I read this? There is no right. Man, so can I read this? Read it, read it, read it, read it all. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew 2, it 11. Yes, and when they had come into Jesus the house, they saw the young child with Mary, but his mother, go to the Old and fell down and worshipped him. But it's yes. Jesus. When they had opened in their treasures, they presented God. a gift to right. real God. Frank was out there. They worshipped him. Just as you expect from God to say. They worshipped him. In the Old Testament. So you got it wrong, man. So they worshipped him. As you realise, they read Herring Cardinals. They worship God. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Right, Jesus. If I ask you, yeah. what is your name? And you say, I live in London. I say, look, but I'm asking your name. He says, I live in London. Semantics this work. is a red herring yeah. argument, right? right. Yeah. I ask you one question. Tell us the Ma origin. Matthew, you Matthew, you Matthew 14, yeah, 33. Yeah, 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 this is the third one now. Go. Go. Then Go. those who were in the boat came and worshipped him. Saying, truly, you are the son of God. Jesus is God. This is the Bible. Yes. You. Just come here. Son of this God. is three Just verses that I've given Give you. They all worshipped him. Right? Come into the force from me, right? You. The first of you quoted. Now, no, in this no, verse, all the three verses. Master, master. What we have heard. Did you find Because I want you to replace me. Inshallah, inshallah. We have to go pray. But I just want to reflect this. Mansour, don't be sick. Excuse me. You're not being fair here. You're what saying things that's not true. Excuse me. Yeah. What you've heard right. from what you've heard. Here's my replacement. What you're saying is not the truth. Did you hear the word right. Jesus is saying? Man, I'm saying they worshipped him. No, no, no. Look, read it. This is their desperation. These disciples find something in the Bible for their belief which is not even substantially true. Three times. Matthew 14. So I ask you kindly. Matthew 14, 30. As you are an intelligent woman. Matthew 14, 30. Intelligent woman. They worship him. Shouting is not going to help. Read no, no, about the Bible. I'm giving him the verse. What he's saying is that the truth. Who's Matthew? Get this on the and camera. Matthew, Matthew cover up for your own self. It's 33. Who is worthy of worship? Let him put that in there. Is it Matthew? What happens to the Quran describes? Can we accept the worship of Allah alone? Which you have not to be a Muslim. That decides not to be a Muslim. He gets beheaded. We pray at right time. I have to go and pray as my sheikh is already here. So, you know, I would... Thank you sincerely from my heart, inshallah, that God guides us all. How does that mean? We bring the woman to us. She says God guides us. So you take the woman and add a misguided. Very good. Very good. We speak to you. Yeah? How does it mean? And we speak again, perhaps. Can add a misguided. Mansour, can add a misguided. We believe.